Croeso. I'm delighted to invite you to help shape our future strategies for mental health and well-being and suicide and self-harm prevention in Wales. Mental health continues to be a top priority for the Welsh Government. Our 10-year mental health strategy and suicide and self-harm prevention strategy is coming to an end and our focus is now on developing the future strategies. We can be proud of the progress we've made in mental health over the last 10 years. This includes reducing stigma, expanding the range of mental health services, implementing our own legislation and continued significant funding for mental health. We've also embedded cross-government and multi-agency partnership working to support a whole system approach for mental health and well-being. We want to develop this work further. We will do this by continuing to embed preventative and whole system working. We will also continue to focus on core services for those that need them. We've already undertaken significant engagement work to understand what is important to you for the future strategies and we want to build on that. This has been captured in vision statements and cross-cutting principles. Please take some time to watch this video we've produced which explains our vision and please complete the questionnaire so that we can capture your views. I understand that sometimes just talking about mental health can heighten emotions. If anything I've raised during this presentation has caused you any distress, you will find information on services available to support you at the end of this video. Diolch. We would like to begin with a thank you. Thank you to everyone who has contributed already to our strategy development. This includes through the independence evaluation, reviews of services and in meetings. We would also like to thank our service user and carer forum for the report that we presented to our National Partnership Board. This early engagement work has informed the development of five vision statements and 11 cross-cutting principles to shape our future strategy. We now want your views on the vision statements and principles and the key areas we need to focus on to achieve them. The first four vision statements cover the breadth of the mental health strategy from primary prevention through to specialist mental health support. The fifth and final vision statement relates to suicide and self-harm prevention. Vision Statement 1 has a focus on population-wide well-being and is about empowering people to take action to support their own mental well-being and that of the wider community. It recognises that mental health is as important as physical health and will seek to further understand and promote actions we can take to prevent or reduce our risk of mental ill health. Vision Statement 2 recognises the importance of the wider determinants of mental health. It also challenges all government departments to do everything they can to protect our mental health and well-being and tackle stigma. It focuses on the importance of good work and education, warm homes and safe communities. Through our engagements, we also recognise the impact of the current cost of living crisis. Tackling poverty and financial inclusion are therefore also critical in realising this vision statement. Vision Statement 3 is about making sure that good mental health and well-being is a part of everything that we do when designing and delivering services. Our whole school approach is an excellent example of how improving emotional well-being is threaded through all aspects of school. This includes in the curriculum, through training and in reach support. We want to ensure similar approaches in the settings where you spend most of your time are protective of your mental health, for instance in further education and workplaces. Vision Statement 4 is about organisations working together to support and provide care for your mental health. 
This includes easy access support for low level mental health issues through to inpatient services. It recognises that when you are struggling with your mental health, it is often due to or made worse by a range of social and welfare issues. This can include issues relating to accommodation, relationships and finances. Services should work together to ensure specialist services are linked into the wide range of other support that is often needed to support recovery. Vision Statement 5 is about suicide and self-harm prevention. It recognises the complex factors that can increase the risk of suicide or self-harm. It also recognises the need to improve and use a range of data and evidence to inform preventative approaches. This is a separate vision and it will be delivered through a separate strategy. However, the actions in all the vision statements will contribute to this one and the strategies will be interlinked. Through our engagement so far, a number of themes have emerged which we think need to be considered across the strategy and visions. We've called these cross-cutting principles. These align closely with core values set in our plan for health and social care, a healthier Wales. Let me explain each. Person-centred. This is about treating people with dignity care and compassion. All actions should hold the individual at the centre. Equity of access. This is about ensuring services and support are accessible and appropriate. For instance, being culturally appropriate, meeting the needs of our ethnic minority communities, LGBTQ plus communities, disabled people and people with sensory loss. Quality and safety. This is about ensuring services and support are safe and lead to positive outcomes. Evidence driven and outcome focused. This is about ensuring all actions in the strategy are based on evidence and the impact can be monitored. Preventative and prudent approach. This is about prevention first and then doing only what is needed and causing no harm. This is also about reducing variation. Better use of digital. This is about considering the use of digital across the strategy where appropriate. This can be done through the way that we deliver services and how our services can use digital technology to be more efficient. A sustainable and supported workforce. This is about ensuring we have a consistent workforce that is skilled and supported to do their role. This will include a focus on supporting the well-being of our workforce. The actions here will need to align with the Strategic Mental Health Workforce Plan. Service integration and no wrong door approach. This is about services working in partnership to provide person-centred support. Appropriate language. This is about not medicalising emotional health. We need to better describe a person's needs and to distinguish between mental illness and everyday worries and concerns. Physical environment that supports safe and dignified care. This recognises the importance of the environment, our buildings, for care and recovery. Free of stigma and shame, blame and judgment. This is about the need to tackle the stigma and societal views associated with mental health. How to respond. Your views are important to us. We have developed a questionnaire which is available in English and Welsh. The questionnaire seeks your views on the vision statements and principles and the key areas that we need to focus on to achieve them. Please provide your response to the questionnaire by 14th of July 2023 in any of the following ways. Complete the questionnaire online. The questionnaire is available on the Welsh Government's website. 
on www.gov.wales forward slash mental hyphen health hyphen strategy. Download and complete our questionnaire and email this to mental health and vulnerable groups at gov.wales. Download and complete our questionnaire and post this to Mental Health and Vulnerable Groups Team, Welsh Government, 4th Floor Cates Park, Cardiff, CF10 3NQ. Large print, braille and alternative language versions of this document are available on request. Contact details. For further information, please contact Mental Health and Vulnerable Groups Team, Welsh Government, 4th Floor, Cates Park, Cardiff, CF10 3NQ. Email mentalhealthandvulnerablegroups at gov.wales. Telephone 0300 060 4400. What happens to your feedback? We have already undertaken significant work and engagement to understand what is important to you for the future strategies. We want to build on that now. The views received from the questionnaire will be analysed and your feedback will continue to inform the development of the new strategies. Once the draft strategies are in place, we will issue them for formal consultation later this year. This will provide you with an additional opportunity to submit your views. Further information and help. If you have been impacted by any issues raised in these video presentations, below are some organisations which may be able to offer help and support. Our call Mental Health Helpline offers confidential advice and emotional support to anyone who may need help 24 hours a day. Free phone 0800 132 737 or text 81066. Our Silver Cloud service offers free online therapy to help people and their family when they are experiencing mild to moderate anxiety, depression, or stress. Our Reading Well services make books available in public libraries which help people understand and manage their health through reading. The BEAT service has a dedicated helpline and other per support services for people with eating disorders. We have recently launched our Travel One Press 2 service for those who find themselves in crisis situations and need urgent access to professional support.